All right, welcome everyone. This is Our Travel Tips. I'm your host, Kyle Rasmussen. And today I have with me Megan, who's gonna show us uh, some moves, some yoga moves that we can do while traveling and the benefits of doing yoga while you're traveling, make your travels better. So let's jump into it. All right, well, I think that yoga has a great benefit while we're traveling. You're transitioning from one location to the next. So when you arrive at a place, I'll start there, you can, find you know, your hotel, wherever you're at, maybe find a spot outside where you can kind of connect to your location. Uh, you can remove your shoes if you want to remove your shoes or keep your shoes on. Uh, even in the airport, you could try this as you're you know, switching flights. Um, you know, just ignore all the people around you. <laughs> <laughs> they might even like put a hat out. Um, so um, I would feel my feet on the ground first and really arrive at the place I'm at and notice the location I'm in, the surroundings around me and within me. So I'll pay attention to the kind of the sights and sounds, the feel of the ground underneath me in this place and, and, and let go of, of where I've been and where I'm going. A lot of traveling, you can kind of anticipate all the things you're going to do and what is on your to-do list. So just let yourself be in the moment. And a way to do that is just feel the ground beneath you, feel your body arrive in the space. And then connect to your breath. You slow down your inhales and exhales. Feel how you're arriving in the space physically. Are you holding tension in the shoulders? Maybe roll your shoulders up and down, letting go of tension. And do some neck circles. Close down your eyes and lengthen the spine. There's a lot of tension we carry in the back. So engage to the core and support that length through the spine. Feel the feet on the ground, feel your breath within the body, and notice all the things you feel, maybe anxiety, maybe pride, excitement. You just notice any emotions that come up, and then tune into your breath and just be with all that. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you here, and then find a few movements that feel good. So if you've been sitting a lot and not able to move, you're feeling stiff, Moving the joints in all the ways they're supposed to gets blood flowing, helps you feel energized. So add the breath to some movements. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, palms come together. And then maybe exhale, bring your hands to the heart. Some simple multi-joint movements. Maybe circle the wrist as you bring your arms up overhead. Reach for the sky, feel your feet on the ground. Then bring your hands back to your heart. Do a few side body stretches, but the spine feels really good. Taking your arms to both sides, keep the shoulders relaxed, keep your heart open, just feel yourself in this place. And then maybe take heart opener, reach high, cactus the arms, open through the front of the chest, take in a gentle back and whatever feels good for you, lift and lengthen through the entire spine. Most of the time we're on our phones, reading a book on the plane, so this is great heart opener. If you've taken yoga classes where you um, know you like poses, you know, follow those poses and, and do some of those cat-cow um, on your hands and knees. Or if you're on, you know, a flight or you're seated waiting for a flight, take some seated cat-cows opening through the chest, rounding through the spine. Keeping the spine moving, the joints moving is going to help you feel good and energized and just better. Yeah, that's a lot of good stuff. <laughs> I know some of those are some of my favorite moves, just to move, move around, get the, get the body moving a little bit. And those seem like really simple ones that you could do pretty much anywhere. Yes, yes. So on the flight, in the airport, your hotel, um, you know, wherever you're traveling and find maybe a local yoga studio, great to support your um, traveling destination, local, <laughs> local yoga teachers, which is great. Also, I like to do that. It's a fun way to meet some people too. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A great if you have time. Yeah, very so. cool. Um, well, awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's do some moves now too. Okay. All right. So finding a comfortable seated position and feel the ground beneath you again, arrive in the space and then take some big circles with the ribs. This is a great move to connect to the breath and the body moving in a way that's both restorative and energizing and feel the spine lengthen, move really slow. We are always rushing from place to place. So take big, slow circles. Moving the spine in, in all directions, getting some flexion, extension, lateral flexion, keeping the heart open, shoulders relaxed, the breath is steady and spacious, a little more mindful of the breath, and then take the circles the opposite way, big circles. 
Just notice the breath and the body. Keep yourself present. It's a challenge to do. It's a practice. And then find stillness where you're at. We'll take some seated cat-cow. Inhale, hammock the belly, heart open, gaze up. Exhale, tuck and round, chin to chest. Press the belly button behind you. Inhale, open through the heart. Exhale, tuck and round. Moving with the breath, allowing the breath to lead, the body to follow, slowing down, connecting to that calm, connecting to this one place and this one moment. And then we'll take the left hand to the right knee and the right hand planet behind us. Just gaze over the right shoulder, a gentle twist. It's great to reset the spine. Keep the core engaged. Then take the twist the opposite way. Right hand to the left knee. Tent the left fingers behind you. Try to stack the shoulders over the hips, keeping the spine long and tall. Shoulders soft and away from the ears. And come back to center. Plant your hands in front of you. We'll take a few tabletop cat cows. Just move the spine, engage to the core. Inhale, heart opens, hammock the back. Exhale, tuck and round, chin to chest. And then step the right foot behind you. You can flex through the foot and extend moving forward and back. So you're getting some mobility through the ankle and the toes, which can feel good. And then bring the right knee back in, extend the left leg behind you. And then Bring both knees back, tabletop, tuck your toes, lift the hips, press up and back, downward facing dog, and pedal it out. This is great to take with really bent knees, especially if you're stiff from traveling, sway the hips side to side, pedal it out, massage the soles of your feet. If you're doing this barefoot or with shoes on, just feel all four corners of each of your feet underneath you, feel your hands on the ground, lengthen through the spine, and then lift the right leg up, Stack your hips. Opening the hips is a great way to help keep the hips healthy and balanced, to help keep the spine feeling good. And then come back, three-legged dog. Plant the right foot down. Lift the left leg up. Stack the hips. Reach up as you root down through both of your hands, engaging and activating some muscles, but also letting go and softening through others. And then re-extend, three-legged dog. Square the hips. Come back to downward-facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, nice and slow, you know, moving with mindfulness, a deep forward fold with the knees bent, so you can lengthen through the spine, shake your head yes, no, let some tension melt out of the shoulders, the neck, and then roll up, unfolding the spine one vertebrae at a time, come up to standing, <laughs> reach up, exhale, forward fold, walk your hands back, downward facing dog, Slowly lower your knees to the floor. Feel a little bit of engagement through the abdominal muscles. Maybe hover the knees for a moment and then come down to cat-cow. Shift the hips back. Take child's pose. Just moving through some, again, some multi-joint movements, activating different muscles. Moving the joints in a skillful way helps bring some refreshment and energy to the body. Just let yourself breathe in postures that feel good, feel restorative connecting you to the mind, the breath, and the body in this moment. You walk your hands back up, finding a seat. Maybe bring the hands to the heart, finding a moment of gratitude for wherever you're at. The wise, skillful mindset to come and continue on with. <laughs> so if you want to have a little bit of a standing practice, before you start your day, um, feel your feet on the ground, engage up through the arches of the feet, the quads, the kneecaps lift, pull the belly button in, relax the shoulders, open through the heart, release your arms by the side long, open the hands so your fingers are spread wide, just feel the energy in your fingertips as you maybe prepare for your day, your next adventure, arriving in this moment, kind of noticing again how you're feeling, notice the breath. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, palms come together, and exhale, hands to the heart, kind of connecting to your center, this place, this breath. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Step the right foot back. 
I mean, into a crescent lunge. Lunges are great ways to challenge the balance, kind of wake up the muscles in the legs, lift through the heart, pull the belly button towards your low ribs to keep the spine long, soften through the shoulders. Fill your feet on the ground. Inhale, reach the arms up, ground through the back, heel warrior one. Working to strengthen the legs, the core, open up warrior two. Reach through the fingertips, open through the heart. You know, fix your gaze at one point to work to focus your concentration in this place. And cartwheel your hands to frame the right foot. Left foot, right foot meet. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Root to rise, sweep the arms up overhead, palms come together. Step the left foot back and taking a lunge. You can take lots of variations of lunges, arms up overhead, hands at the heart, open the arms, cactus. Great way to, but to feel the strength in the legs, you're, you're stretching the hip flexor and you're working the core and the spine kind of after a lot of sitting, this can be really great for activating those muscles and keeping the spine feeling good. So from here, connect to the breath, inhale, reach the arms up, ground through the left heel. Warrior one, working to square the hips, kind of opening them up, activating those glutes, quads, hamstrings, root down through the feet, fill the ground beneath you again, and then open up warrior two. Press into the outer edge of the left foot with your right foot forward. You want your right knee stacked over so you know what your body's doing, you know how your physical body is arriving in this moment. You're aligning the body, you're kind of focusing the mind on the body to come into this present moment. Cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot. Step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. You can do that a number of times. Repeat those movements. A lot of multi-joint um, movements that activate all, all the different muscles in the body. Feels good. Hopefully, get you started for a good travel experience. <laughs> oh, well, awesome. Well, thank you. I, I know I'm feeling relaxed <laughs> and ready to go travel. So thank you. Awesome. Namaste. Namaste.